Peter has asked for a meeting with Coach Thomas and hopes to convince his former mentor to return him to the team's ranks. Coach Thomas, I know I let you down during training, but I've worked out the problems I was going through and I want to be back on the team. Peter, you've lost your competitive advantage and have been substituted. I think I can still add superior value to the team. The team as a whole is what needs competitive advantage, and I can contribute to the team's core competence, which is the harmonization of multiple resources and skills that distinguish a team on the field. The team can use a differentiation strategy. By having two stars, the team will be doubling down on the reliability and durability of its offensive lines. Also, the general environment which the team is in can be helped. Right now, the players are being pressed to raise their GPA, and my addition to the team will help bring up the collective GPA because I have been a good student academically. Think about the industry and competitive forces as well. The competition has been trying to recruit me since I dropped from the team. This gives me bargaining power over my, over my supply of skill because I can choose to sell it to another college. This could also sway some of my fans to support another team as well as bring some of the newer colleges into the competitive mix, and Red Top Mountain State could be substituted for another dominant team. You will get above average returns by signing me back on the team, because the risk is the same as if it would be if you didn't sign me, because my scholarship has already been paid out. There are still entry barriers. The university does not employ cost leadership strategy, but it does have a budget, and adding you would make money tighter because we have to pay for all your equipment and promotional stunts. The coaches will also have to put more time and effort into getting you up to speed and integrated. Institutional forces are also at play, which would make you go through a plethora of forms to rejoin the team. Also, right now we have a focus strategy, concentrating their resources on expanding Adam's ability and teamwork skills. Look, I'm not some announcer or referee. I am the player who does the primary activity by playing the game, placing me near the top of the value chain. You should expand your strategy scope from just Adam, because the strategy, strategic vision laid out in the team's mission statement says that all players should be enhanced to their full potential. The strategic objectives should include improving each individual player. That may be true, but don't forget there are socio-cultural forces at play here because the team will remember your poor performance in the preseason and their negative feelings about you will affect the gameplay. Looking out over the field, I can see that physical forces are at play. The AstroTurf has become dirty, grimy, and torn. It is not the type of field that reigning champs should be playing on. My father is a contractor and he can fix this problem for the university at a discounted price. After analyzing the SWOT, or strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of your arguments, I've decided to let you back on the team. Don't spoil this opportunity for both of us.